things that he did is he created a whole new style of writing. Writing was more like Theodore Carey, very formal writing. He created a, a style of writing that was very informal, short sentences, noun, verb, object, uh, not a lot of flowery writing. And basically he was responsible for creating a whole new style of writing in this country and frankly the world. Uh, without him, who knows who would have done that. I just want to read you one little passage though that is from a book that this was published posthumously, it was after his death. His wife published it. Uh, just recently it was republished by his grandson because his wife edited it and she left out some things. So she, his grandson put things back in. But in this he's in Paris and he's writing uh, at a cafe where he went every day to write and he met other authors there. Uh, okay, here it starts. It was a pleasant cafe, warm and clean and friendly. And I hung up my old waterproof, which you meant on a coat, it was a waterproof coat, on the coat rack to dry, and put my worn and weathered felt hat on the rack above the bench and ordered a cafe au lait. The waiter brought it and I took out a notebook from the packet of the coat and a pencil and started to write. I was writing up, up in Michigan, and since it was a wild, cold, blowing day, it was that sort of day in the story. So what he was doing, he was, he was remembering what it was like to grow up in Michigan. He spent every summer here, all summer long. And he, while he was in Paris in the 1930s, he was writing about Michigan. Uh, and I have a friend who wrote a book about his writing in Michigan, and he gives examples through photography of scenes that you can still see today that he has described with a photographic memory. Even though he only came back to Michigan once after he was uh, 19, he came back in 1945, only one time to pay some taxes on his mother's home. So he had a phenomenal photographic memory. Uh, a friend of mine who became his son's wife uh, was his secretary in Spain, and she would follow him around sort of see if he got everything right in a book. And she said his memory it was flawless. There was nothing he described that didn't, you couldn't actually see yourself. Uh, and that's pretty unusual for a writer. So one of our, probably our most famous writers,